Today we're building our own Philips Hue LED strip, do-it-yourself edition. Yes, hello, welcome! Welcome back guys, I'm Tech with you with Human Suit and in today we're building our own Philips Hue LED strip. As you may know, Philips Hue LED strips are very expensive and you only get 2 meters. But today we have 5 meters of RGB warm white LED strip here and we have the Glidebo RGB plus CCT adapter so we can connect this LED strip and connect it to a Philips Hue bridge using the SIGBI protocol and of course we have some aluminium diffuser so we can get a nice even light from the LED strip and of course we have our power adapter and this is a 12 volt 2 ampere and of course we have some bracket to mount this aluminium profiles here so now let's get on to it with human and student yes let's see here we have the adapter here and let's see we have some double adhesive tape and the instruction manual here now here we have the LED strip cut and ready so we can connect to each individual letter here okay let's put the black wire here which is supposed to be the voltage okay and now the red in the red and now the green in the green okay and now the blue in blue And now the warm white in the warm white. Let's just see if they are inserted correctly and tight and snug. It seems so. Let's try to power it on with some AC adapter here. Okay, we have an AC adapter here. Let's see here. It powers on and as you can see the LED strip very vibrant the RGB and the warm white here as we can see we have the power so we're gonna go to the Philips Hue app momentarily and connect this LED strip now we're near the Philips Hue bridge because we need to be near it to pair it so we're gonna go to light setup add light search and as you can see it doesn't seem to be found here by the app, so we're gonna reset it by switching it, uh, it on and off four times and the fifth time we will see it blinking. So, one, two, three, four, five. And now it's blinking. Extended color light, one. Wow, can you believe it? Uh, oops. Uh, now we're gonna add it to our kitchen here. Uh, not here. Yes. Uh, to the kitchen. And let's see here. Yes, let's see here the colors. Every color seems to work. As you can see, we have to switch the green wire and the red wire somehow they were mislabeled so you can see here red now and green now so we're gonna switch them later before mounting this and if we go to the warm white spectrum here and the cool white we can only use the upper section of the warm white because this is just a warm white LD strip and not a cool white as you can see here it turns off because there is nothing here so we can use the warm white 
Okay, now let's change the wiring and mount this LED strip with the diffusers. So now I'm switching the wires here. The green in the red. And the red in the green. And now you can see green is green and red is red. Here you can see purple, red, orange, everything like that. And you can see green and here is blue. Wow, it works. Wow, as you can see, we have now officially mounted the LED diffusers, nice evenly spread light. And if we go to the color lights, we can try, wow, this uh, purple light, or we can test a green light. Wow, this is completely amazing. Don't forget to comment down below if you have any questions about this procedure. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button to show some support and love. And do not forget the subscribe button because that really shows us some support and continue make these projects available and affordable for us. And don't forget the notification bell so you can get notified of our new upcoming videos. And don't forget to share this video with any friends or family so they can make their own QLED strip at an affordable price with Glidebo LED strip adapter. Thank you so much and don't forget to this is. Human and certain. <laughs>